All right, so this exercise is the kettlebell deadlift. There's a few different ways you can do this depending on where you are at in your fitness journey. But we'll start out with one kettlebell and then progress to two. So what I like to do is have our feet about shoulder width apart, our toes out slightly. We're gonna hold the kettlebell in front of us, just like this, and then we'll go ahead and just set it down. Okay, so this is a hinge movement, meaning we wanna use mostly our hips versus bending our knees. So what I'm gonna cue you to do is think about sticking your butt to the wall behind you. So stick the butt to the wall behind me. Great, my upper back is straight. I still do have some soft knees here. It's all right to bend them a little bit. We just don't wanna get down this low, okay? So mostly hips, little bit of knees. From here, I'm gonna have you go ahead, grab that kettlebell, and I'm gonna have you squeeze your glutes up and stand tall. Then when we go back down, I'm just gonna have you return to your mid shin and squeeze right up. Inhale down, mid shin, and exhale up. And we should primarily feel this in our hamstrings and our glutes. Now, maybe you have a kettlebell here and it's just too easy, you don't have any heavier ones. Well, the way that you can make that harder is doing it the same thing with two kettlebells. So again, we're right here, okay? Butt to the wall behind us, flat back. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna exhale, keeping the weight nice and close to our shins. It should almost glide along your shins. Squeeze at the top and then return down. It's gliding across my shins again. I'm exhaling up and inhaling down. So that's how you do a kettlebell deadlift.